So, not much really happened in this week's of Goblin Slayer. So I'm gonna do my best to keep this really short because nothing really happened, nothing of big importance. But without further ado, let's get in the review. So the Demon Lord has finally been defeated, and all that's left is remnants of his army. And because of that, it is open season for adventurers all over to go out hunting for the remnants of the Demon Lord's army. I gotta say, if I was an adventurer, I would totally cash in on that right now. I'd bring me some poison arrows, some nice sharpened swords, just just go out. Open season, everyone. So besides that, um, what about the Goblin Slayer? Well, he doesn't care. Like I said before, like he said before, all he cares about is slaying some goblins. <laughs> but like I said in the last episode, this would be a very calm, of course, storm, a very relaxing episode. I didn't expect it to be this relaxing because we didn't really get much out of it besides him having more of a, a widespread friends now. In the beginning, it was just him, then it was the mage, then it was his partner, then it was the guild, then now he has all kinds of companions and friends and people who understand him. They don't just see him as this weird guy, they see him as something more. They see a guy who actually has a nice form of character. So that is good on him that everyone sees him on a brighter side. Even the uncle isn't really that as tense around him as he used to be. So that's that's nice for Goblin Slayer. Good for him. We even got a chance to see him outside his armor for crying out loud in this episode. For a good chunk of this episode we did actually. But that was because it was all beat up. So lucky us. So we got to see in the past, you know, stuff that we already knew. How when he was young, he wanted to be an adventurer, but he couldn't even go out to the city um, without permission, unlike his childhood friend, Cowgirl, could. So, because of that, he kind of was kind of mean to her. And that's what kids do. That's what kids do. But ever since then, he never had that kind of meal that his sister cooked for him on that day. I guess it was something that only he wanted her to cook, something special. So, I guess he wouldn't want no one else to cook it. Someone would cook it for him, he probably wouldn't eat it. He would, I don't know. I'm getting ahead um, of myself on that. So, since the Demon Lord has been defeated, everyone's going around enjoying themselves, having feasts, parties, and there's no sign of any goblins, actually. Um, as the Witch Lady said herself, there are no goblins out today. No quests whatsoever, so very interesting, which still alarms me, because goblins are like cockroaches. They're somewhere out there. Even when they say no one's having a problem with them, no one knows where they are, they are hiding somewhere out there so you gotta keep your eyes peeled and that's what he did you know with morning patrols every day was just the same thing for him and he didn't mind because he wanted to keep things on tip top shape it was to the point where pretty much cowgirl he goes into the city of cowgirl and they run into she runs into all her friends so you were expecting probably a very big you know a big conversation but instead it was just them getting along um, them just pretty much lecturing God up there to be more careful, not to take things too recklessly, and just, just, just don't be you all the time, is what they're saying, or else they'll make him not do any adventures for the next six months, stuff, you know, just, just teasing him, just a little tease. Other than that, um, this episode is mainly focused on Cowgirl, when you really think about it. She likes Goblin Slayer. In fact, almost all the girls in Goblin Slayer likes Goblin Slayer, even though you never seen his face. Only one of these females seen Goblin Slayer's face. That or probably the mage girl depends. Well, she was sleeping during the time when he got dressed, so I, I don't know if she's seen his face, but not many have seen Goblin Slayer's face. So, only Kyle girl knows who Goblin Slayer truly is and where he came from for being a childhood friend. And I have to say, his cowgirl is best girl. Best girl. No one can deny that on the show. Even though she don't have much screen time. But when she does, she brings a little bit of interesting insight. Especially that speech at the end where she was saying how what we do when he gets older. He will get tired. He will get worn out. He won't be as strong as he used to be. He's going to need help. And when he doesn't have any, he will die by goblins if this keeps up. So in a way, she's made a speech of how he needs to quit when he is ahead. And he does need to, even to the point where Goblinslayer himself was thinking about the future. How long can he continue this? 
he can't continue this forever. He will eventually one day have to retire and pass the torch down to someone else. I'm pretty sure if he trains some people to become goblin slayers just like him, there won't be much of a problem. That's what most people do to pass down their legacy. Train someone else, a disciple, a pupil, apprentice, whatever you want to call them. They would get someone like that at a very young age, or at least teenagers, and train them in the art of goblin slaying. So, other than that, as he was on his patrols, things felt a little bit different towards the end. Goblins were around and they were stalking him the entire time. Holy crap. So, I guess in a way he let his guard down, you could say, but then again, he couldn't help it. He was doing what he usually does with a goblin player. So now, and that was a lot of goblins. You can see the footprints all over the place, so we know a big battle is probably going to come. We're pretty much near the end game, ladies and gentlemen. So, knowing this, it's going to be a nice big battle we get to see against probably the entire guild versus a bunch of goblins. That will be pretty cool to see. I would like to see that very much. Well, like I said, this is a short video, but that's all I got for this video. If you did enjoy it, please rate, comment, subscribe, and of course, hit the bell icon so you can know it every time I upload if YouTube allows it, of course. This is Background on Anime, signing out.